David, quite honestly, it's kind of creepy out here knowing that something big and wild is out there. As you mentioned, we're at 14 miles just east of Van Dyke, and right behind this wooded area is the Red River Creek, an area near where the animal has been spotted. But earlier today, we went back, way back into the woods, to see what this animal may be up to. Roaming around in this heavily wooded area, somewhere in this 100 plus acres, is some sort of huge wild animal. If you look closely at this home videotape shot by a nearby resident a few days ago, it looks like a cross between a lion and a tiger, perhaps a liger, or maybe even a cougar. Arlene Rinke saw it out of her window just last night. When he was first hovered down, I could just see like the top of his body and his head sticking up over the top of the stuff and I just looked and he raised up and then I could see it just was a large animal something that didn't look like a dog police have been looking too using helicopters to scour the area but for an animal this is a great place to hide you and I could hide in here all day long unless someone came to move us we would be just fine this cat can certainly do the same thing. It can travel through areas like this several miles a day if it would choose to do so. But the greatest fear is that he won't stay in the woods. As soon as he gets hungry, he's going to seek out the food source, and that's going to be man. Mm -hmm. It's just the way it is. Now, police have laid several traps with cooked chicken inside, hoping to trap the animal, but so far, no luck. And there haven't been any official sightings since last night. Reporting live from Warren, I'm Lauren Hudson, UPN 50, 10 o'clock news. Thanks, Lauren. And our first story for you tonight, what a doozy. It's like a scene from a movie. Bags of money falling from an armored truck right onto the freeway in Lincoln Park today. Police estimate somewhere between two hundred and six hundred thousand and $600,000 dollars got loose. Drivers screeching to a halt, jumping out of their cars, trying to grab whatever fast cash they could. UPN 50's Lauren Hudson has tonight's cold hard details. Lauren? Oh, David, it's been crazy out here. Now, even though the traffic is moving now and the armored car is done, gone, there's still people out in the dark going through the grass looking for some cash. Wolverine Dispatch, the armored car company, won't say exactly how much money got loose, but we're told that a truck driver who was directly behind the armored truck got as much as $20,000. We're also told that there were little mini bundles of $20 bills, each bundle worth $2,000. Now, as you can imagine, that's enough to cause money mania. Dozens of people flocked to the freeway, frantically searching for the missing money that fell from the armored truck. The truck went and fell! Oh my God! It's the money out here for me. It's not. It's the money out here for me. Bags of money fell out of the truck onto southbound I-75 near Outer Drive during the middle of rush hour. What I was told is that they were driving through here and the, the one guy just said he heard like a swoosh sound and, and looked over and either the window or the door was open and these two bags flew out and the money was just going everywhere and uh, it caused quite a traffic jam at that point. Some motorists pulled off the freeway. Some even crawled through the weeds. Everyone hoping for a big find. Well, I heard there was some money laying around just... Out here, so I was looking for it. You gonna get the money? I was gonna get some money. Leave the area now. While police blocked off much of the area, some searchers got lucky. Where'd you find the money? The very top in between the grass. I'm happy to find it. Some individual bills, and you gotta sit here and kick the weeds, and then all of a sudden one pops up. In the green. Now, we're told about $30,000 has been turned in so far, and Joe, that 13-year-old boy you saw who found the $10, he says he plans to turn his money in. Reporting live from Lincoln Park, I'm Lauren Hudson, UPN 50, 10 o'clock news.